Everyone and welcome back to this week's hour of thanking the Lord through our Saviour Jesus Christ. Let us continue with this week's video. So in last week's video, we finished in the Isaiah book in the 42nd chapter about the type and the antitype. Well, I should say just the antitype or the bigger picture, I could say, of God's plan about the salvation for the Israel's for the Israel pe for the Israel's people, as we know due to the situation Hezekiah had put upon them due to his actions when he was almost deceived by that fleshly act by his fleshly actions we can see so israel we saw were in that position to be prophesied to be captured we saw and then we saw in last week's video in the 42nd chapter about the antitype and the bigger picture to helping us and see how that god's plan is going to help the Israelites and the salvation for the Israelites in that situation. Since he's explaining here, here he's explaining about the is literal issue regarding the Babylonian attack and through whom he is going to save the Israelites from the Babylon imprisonment. So he explained it through it, through the bigger picture in Isaiah book 42nd, we understand. The first few verses when he started as behold my servant, my chosen one, in whom del he delights, and he had his spirit, which we read last week. This was the verse that gave us the clue about who was to be the one that was going to he was going to use to save the Israelites from Babylon. As I just said, it was recorded in the first few verses of the forty second chapter regarding by saying he started he's saying, Behold my servant, my chosen one in whom he delights, and he had his spirit which. So he he is describing to Isaiah who his servant is going to be. Then we read last week about this exactly about Jesus Christ, the Saviour, and it is reflected in the Matthew twelfth chapter about this situation. So when Jesus Christ we see when, because now we have come to the conclusion about how it is exactly speaking about Jesus Christ and we see there is a reference about this in the Matthew 12 chapter we see in this situation where during the mission about when Jesus was trying to spread the gospel to the people during his first advent he explained the God's will and human's perspective and how we have to learn and understand the godly ways and also heal many people who struggle who struggle in their lives, we can see. But Jesus showed these actions throughout his life as well. Because whilst he was a human, he was also healing many people who were struggling with disabilities in their life. As he has done many miracles throughout the Bible that is very well known to people. But we have to understand, Jesus didn't only show these characteristics of healing them. He also showed these characteristics of understanding godly nature, faithful and perfect characteristics. So he utilized this healing power as a tool to explain about God's will and to repent from their sin. So then the same verse in Isaiah book 42nd verse quoted is, is quoted in the New Testament Matthew chapter after his preaching and healing it is recorded the same as it is recorded in the Matthew chapter. So it is revealed clearly to us who is the God's servant talking about in Isaiah 42nd chapter because it is the exact same what is in Matthew 12th chapter we see 15 to 21st verse because these verses are talking about Jesus Christ we see because it's in Matthew book of course but then it is the same verses in the Isaiah 42nd chapter this then we can infer from this that it is meaning that what Isaiah 42nd chapter was talking about was also Jesus Christ we see so now let us read the verses in Isaiah in sorry not Isaiah Matthew 15th chapter, 15th chapter, Matthew 12 chapter, sorry, 15th to 21st verse. So it says, aware of this, Jesus withdrew from the pla that place. A large crowd followed him and he healed all who were ill. He warned them not to tell others about him. This was to fulfill the, what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He is my servant whom I have chosen. The only love I only love, in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not quarrel or cry out. No one will hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed will not break and will not break, and a smouldering wick he will not snuff out, till he has brought justice through to victory. In his name the nation will put their hope. So Isaiah's prophecy in a big picture was fulfilled here and was clearly recorded. 
And then if we go back to the Isaiah 42nd chapter, it is Ted told us it is talking about this. Since in this chapter, the first nine verses talk about a Jesus Christ, like it is said here. From the 10 to 17th verse, it tells us us to us to have tell us have to praise for the Lord mighty's deliverance because he loved his people and never left them to end up in destruction rather he saved these people you see so we can see about this where it is recorded in first Timothy second chapter fourth verse where it says who wants all people to be saved to come into the knowledge of truth so that is the plan that he's willing to deliver we see and in that prophecy we can see it is delivered and explained to us we can see in isaiah 41st chapter as well it is told to us the same similar thing in the matthew 12th chapter then we see the um, the plan that god wishes to provide and this almighty deliverance for the people he loves we can see which is the people of this world as he wants to save them from destruction as we read in first timothy second chapter fourth verse where it says who wants all the people to be saved and come into the knowledge and the truth so we'll continue more about this in the next week's video where we'll talk about the, the rest of the verses in the chapter so i'll see you then bye